Red Green High School in Green for a Section 4 Class A semifinal boys basketball game between the Owego Free Academy Indians and the Norwich Purple Tornado. We pick up action in the second quarter with Owego up 16 to 15. James Bates kicks it out to Dallas Perez and Perez drills the J for a 17-16 Norwich lead. Norwich gets it back, but Alex Paula's shot is off the mark. James Bates is there for the rebound and put in to put the purple up 19-16. The Indians are passing it around the horn, and Jack Keogh lets one fly from behind the arc. It's good for three, and we're tied with a minute till halftime. Norwich is trying to take the lead into halftime, and Ryan Beninati finds Alex Paula in three-point land. Paula cans a triple, and Norwich takes a 22-19 lead into the halftime break. Owego starts the third on a roll as Andy Marzo intercepts the inbound pass. Keo takes it up the floor, dishes to John Reynolds, gets it back, and makes the bucket to put Owego up 26-22. Norwich battles back as Ryan Beninati gets it to James Bates. Bates takes it to the hoop to tie us at 26. We've got a timeout on the floor. The Purple Tornado have the ball with the score tied. Mike Abbott dishes to Beninati. Beninati gives it back, and Abbott goes for three. It's good! Norwich takes a 29-26 lead. James Bates gets it at the foul line for Mike Abbott. He drives to the hoop, and his shot puts Norwich up 31-27. Owego's taking it up the floor, but Mike Abbott intercepts Jack Keogh's pass. He takes it in for an easy layup, and Norwich goes up 33-27. Abbott strikes again a little later in the quarter as he goes for another three-pointer and makes it to give Norwich a 40-31 lead at the end of the third quarter. Owego starts the fourth on a roll, but John Reynolds' jumper is off the mark. Jack Keogh gets the rebound and fights his way to a tough basket to pull Owego to within 40-37. The Tornado are looking for a good shot. Alex Paula's pass gets deflected, but Ryan Beninati comes up with it. He shoots it toward the hoop, and it's in there to put Norwich up 42 to 37. Keogh's got the hot hand, and he has it at the left elbow. The defense won't budge, so Keogh lets it fly from there, and his basket makes it a three-point ball game. John Reynolds has it, and he's trying to find an opening. He can, and he lets it fly from behind the arch. The three-pointer is good, and we're tied at 42 with three and a half minutes left in the game. The boys in purple and white have the weave going. Mike Abbott ends up with it and takes a long-distance shot. It's good, and Norwich goes up 45-42. I can't read lips, but I think he's saying, I'm going to be on hometown sports. Abbott's the man for Norwich tonight, and he takes this one and drives to the hoop. He makes a layup to give Norwich a five-point lead with two and a half minutes left in the game. Norwich is trying to put it away, but Alex Paula's pass gets deflected. John Reynolds comes up with it. He gives it to Jack Keogh. Alex Paula was all over Keogh, so he gives it back to Reynolds. Reynolds gives it to Casey Kazan. Kazan's three is off the rim. Mike Bensley tips it outside. Reynolds gives it to Kazan, and he misses again. Kazan gets it back and dishes to Keogh. Keogh is swarmed by the Norwich defense, but he lobs the ball at the basket and it goes in. What an amazing play to make this a one-point ball game. Owego's trying to take the lead. Jack Keogh's got the ball. He drives to the hoop and runs into James Bates. He's fouled and Bates fouls out. Keogh makes the first foul shot but misses the second and we would end regulation tied at 47. We start out overtime and Owego's got the ball. Keogh gets it and takes it to the hoop. His shot's good and Owego takes a 49-47 lead. Owego keeps rolling and Keogh kicks it out to Casey Kazan. He goes for three and it's in there. Owego takes a 54-48 lead on their way to a shocking 58-51 victory over Norwich. <laughs> 